In this video, you will learn how to model a cube and chain like this in Blender. Blender version 2.78c is being used while creating this video. So let's start by deleting everything. Press A key once or twice to select everything and press X and enter to delete. Press 5 on the number pad for the orthographic view. Go to the create menu, and under the curve section add bezier circle. Move this circle little bit away from the center on the X axis by dragging this red arrow. Come back to the create menu and add a bezier circle once again. Press 7 on the number pad for the top view. Zoom it in by mouse wheel up. Press tab to enter to the edit mode. Right mouse click on this bottom hand to select it, and rotate on the X axis by pressing R, X, 60 and enter. Right mouse click on this left hand to select it, and rotate on the Y axis by pressing R, Y, 60 and enter. Now right mouse click on this top hand to select it, and press R, X, minus 60 and enter to rotate it. Finally right mouse click on this right hand to select it, and press R, Y, minus 60 and enter to rotate it on the Y axis. Now press tab to return to the object mode. Expand this right side panel to unhide some of the features. Go to this curve object data icon, come down here to the bevel section, click on this little cube icon and select bezier circle. Now zoom out a bit until you can see the circle you've added first. Right mouse click on the circle to select it, and scale it down by pressing S, 0.3 and enter. Now right mouse click on this link to select it. Press Alt plus C keys on the keyboard, and click on Mesh from Curve Meta Surf Text. Now press 1 on the number pad for the front view. Go to the Create menu, and add a cube. Scale this cube up by pressing S, 1.5 and Enter. Now go to this object data icon. Under the display section, change maximum draw type to bounds. Now zoom the view. And move the cube up until the bottom of the cube reaches to the top intersection point of the link. Now press Shift plus D keys on the keyboard to duplicate the cube. Press Z key to move along the Z axis and move your mouse down until the top of the cube meets the bottom intersecting point of the link. Now press and hold the shift key on the keyboard, right mouse click on the top cube to select cubes, and press Ctrl plus J keys on the keyboard to join them. Now right mouse click on the link to select it. Go to this little modifier icon, click on add modifier button, and add boolean modifier. Now choose difference on operation, click on this little cube icon under the object, and select cube, and click on this apply button to apply the boolean operation. Now zoom out a bit until you can see that little circle you added for the first time, right mouse click on that to select it, press and hold the shift key and right mouse click on this cube to select both. And press X and enter to delete them. Now press 7 on the number pad for the top view. Right mouse click on this link and move it to the left dragging this red arrow. Now press Shift plus D keys to duplicate the link. Press X key to move it only on X axis, and move your mouse to the right to move the link as nearer as you can, but don't let them to touch each other. Press left mouse button to confirm move. Now press Shift plus R keys multiple times to add the links to your chain. Now press and hold Ctrl key on the keyboard, and draw area by clicking and holding left mouse button containing all the chains to select all. Now press Ctrl plus J keys to join them and make a an single object. Now go to the Tools menu, and set Origin to Geometry. Now press Shift plus S keys on the keyboard and click on Selection to the cursor. Now pan the view to the center by shift plus middle mouse button. Now go back to the create menu, under the curve section, add in a circle again. Scale it up by pressing S, 5 and enter. Now right mouse click on the chain to select it, go to the modifier icon, 
click on add modifier, and add curve modifier. Click this little cube icon under the object and select Bezier Circle. Now you can scale this Bezier Circle up or down to get your desired result. Right mouse click on the chain again to select it, and change this deformation axis to minus X. That will convert this chain into bracelet shape. Zoom pan and rotate the view to see the joining point of the chain clearly. Select the circle right clicking on it. Press S key on the keyboard to scale. And move the mouse in or out to join the bracelet perfectly. Now undo the step by pressing Ctrl plus Z keys on the keyboard multiple times. Press 7 on the number pad for the top view. Right mouse click on the circle to select it. Press Tab to enter to the edit mode. Right mouse click on this top node to select it, and move this up on the Y axis by dragging this green arrow to change the shape of the chain. Press Tab to return back to the object mode. Once you are done modeling your chain and you don't need no change in the future. Right mouse click on the chain to select it, go to this modifier section, and apply this curve modifier. Now you are free to delete this Bezier circle by pressing X and enter after selecting. And this was the very quick tutorial about how to model a cube and chain in Blender. Feel free to suggest me the next tutorial in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.